What's happening guys? Welcome back to Swanky Disc Golf. Today we're going to be talking about the top five underrated discs for amateur disc golfers. These are discs that have been around for a while. People have probably thrown them a lot, but maybe they're not as popular as some of the other molds that are getting talked about. And they may have been around for so long that they've been forgotten in some cases and otherwise just overshadowed by some more popular molds in the lineups. We're gonna give them some light today. We're gonna shine a light on these underrated discs for you guys and see if you might uh, be missing a slot in your bag that these discs fill. All right, number five, starting us off overstable. We're gonna start off with the Legacy Discs Recluse. This is one from one of our tournaments. Uh, super underrated mold. Honestly, underrated company. They have some really popular molds like the Rival and the Patriot, but the Recluse is not widely thrown at all and has been in my bag since we got these in for the tournament. Very overstable disc. I believe the numbers are 5403, but if I'm wrong, the numbers will be on the screen. Very overstable, board flat with a bead, very comfortable in the hand and it's like that approach esque disc in your bag that you can throw forehand and backhand but it just goes further and for me it's even more overstable than something like a zone i bust this thing out for anheuser flex shots that i need to put a lot of left to right movement on and i need it to fight back at the end really hard this disc will do that so it just it's a, it enables me to be creative on the course in ways that straight to stable discs won't do you need something crazy over stable to unlock those shots. So that's our number five, the Legacy Disc Recluse. All right, I'm jumping in here for number four. We have the Latitude 64 Saint. This is probably one of the more popular discs on the list. I still feel it's very underrated and underutilized by amateur disc golfers. Um, some of you who are maybe big trilogy throwers or deep disc golf fans, you know the Saint. Maybe you've thrown it, maybe you haven't. I've known a lot of people who know about it, but haven't thrown it. But I feel like the wider disc golf fan base doesn't know about the Saint and all of its glory. Although that's a different disc by Latitude 64. We're not here to talk about that. This, the numbers on the Saint are a wild nine speed, seven glide, and then negative one, two. It's super controllable. As you can see, it was a part of the 2022 Trilogy Challenge. And I played two Trilogy Challenges just because I loved these discs so much in the, this is their gold plastic. Um, if you don't know, it's similar to star plastic. I feel like it's maybe a little bit more glossy. Um, if you've ever thrown vapor plastic from Discmania or like swirly ESP plastic, it's that vibe. And I absolutely love this disc in this plastic. It's just very controllable, especially for amateurs. If you have a really big arm speed for an amateur, you're going to be able to throw all sorts of wild shot shapes with this without it burning into a roller or fading back too hard. If you have a lower speed as an amateur, you're gonna be able to throw this pretty darn straight. You're still gonna be able to control it really well. You can put it on some Anheuser. It's gonna pan super nicely for different sort of controlled shot shapes. I love this thing and I especially love this plastic. Latitude 64's plastic across the board is great, especially the Royal Grand. But if I had to give a second favorite, it would be second favorite plastic out of Latitude 64. It would definitely be the gold plastic love these things incredible flight you can get a lot of distance out of them too for an amateur we talk about that all the time if you watch this channel at all nine speeds ten speeds that are slightly understable awesome and the seven glide i mean latitude 64 puts seven glide on everything these days might be an exaggeration but i i can't prove otherwise so that is the latitude 64 saint underrated you probably know about it you're not bagging it i don't know why all right, number three is the Streamline Jet, the most understable disc on the list, far and away, and a phenomenal set of numbers on this thing, if I may say so myself. 11, 5, negative 3, 2 is something that an amateur should look at and immediately think, hmm, this is the distance driver that I should be throwing. 11 speed, so fits pretty much everybody's hand, and it's a little bit more controllable than those 12 and 13 higher speeds and the negative three two is going to immediately give you even at the lowest level of amateur a very usable s-line flight so it's good for teaching you those shots but the jet is more than that manufactured by mvp in the streamline series not an over mold regular molded disc 
incredible hand feel has a slight curve to the wing i don't have one in my hand hopefully we can get you a picture of the rim because it's got a really unique hook to the end of the rim that feels really comfortable in my hand for a distance driver and like i said 11 speeds just fit better they they hit different than these 12 speeds that everybody's throwing let's make 11 normal 11 speed should be the the go-to for everybody and the jet flies incredible it is a huge hyzer bomber for you guys with a higher arm speed and if you don't have that of course like i said it's still giving you usable distance out there on the course uh, with that negative three turn so go check out the streamlined jet another one maybe you've heard of but i know you're not bagging it all right ladies and gentlemen we are now on to number two most underrated disc for amateurs we have something from Clash Discs. We've been talking about Clash Discs a lot lately. We're going with the Popcorn. This is another disc. If you are a deep disc golf fan, you probably know about the Popcorn. If you're a Clash Discs fan, you definitely know about the Popcorn. Uh, it came out as one of their earlier molds, but it's not utilized a ton in the disc golf space, at least from our experience. We have people asking us about the Popcorn. I know a few people that bag it. Uh, but compared to the vast majority of throwing putters especially, I think they are way, way, way overlooked. The numbers on it are 3301. I find that it flies off the tee a little bit less stable than that. It feels like it's got some negative one turn in it, causing it to have just crushing distance for an, like I mentioned, off the tee putter. That's my primary use case for it, but I know people who putt with it and as a putter, it's, it also feels so good. We used to talk about the Sensei a lot, we gave that disc a lot of attention. This to me feels very comparable to the Sensei, but in a much nicer and higher quality plastic, much more durable. And they have multiple plastics that feel like base plastic, but they also are, feel super premium. It's hard to describe, this is hardy plastic. This is a prototype, I can't remember which plastic it's in, but these both feel super durable and also tacky like they're in base plastic. You could easily putt with this or throw it off the tee. And as amateurs, we're always trying to get the maximum amount of value out of our discs. So Clash This Popcorn rightfully earning the spot. You've probably heard of it, another one that you should be bagging. You've heard of it, you know it flies incredible put it in the bag. All right, we're about to jump into number one, but before we do, we just want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Idio Sports. We've been working with Idio for a few months now, and we are loving their product. The Syncrasies from Idio, the Idio Syncrasy shoe, is the first ever disc golf specific shoe. And it's got a ton of features that make it disc golf specific that are really key to the average disc golfer. They come into play for me every single round. The first is their waterproof. Guys, you need a waterproof shoe if you're out there trying to play disc golf, especially in Georgia uh, or any state where it rains a lot or any state where it's wet a lot, you need a waterproof shoe. In the snow, you need a waterproof shoe. And then secondly, it's the omnidirectional tread. We don't always walk straight playing disc golf, guys. Walking, who walks straight on a tee pad? You walk up on a tee pad, your upshot is sideways for either shot, the forehand as well. Our tread needs to respond to more than just a forward facing range of motion. So the omnidirectional tread allows us to have consistent grip throughout our run up, which is huge for me especially and for all disc golfers. Uh, and finally, they've got this toe drag protection that is incredible. Luke especially drags his toe like crazy. We're gonna show you a clip of him doing that. He puts holes in all of his shoes and the Idios have an extra layer of protection on those front toes to prevent that drag from ripping through your shoes and you're just gonna go through pairs and pairs and pairs of shoes that don't have specific protection for that toe drag. They've got a ton of cool colorways. They've got a Nate Sexton signature shoe they've had for a while and they just dropped Paige Pierce's signature shoe. So you can go check them out on their website. The link will be in the description. Thank you so much to Idio for sponsoring the video. Let's get into number one. All right, number one, it's my favorite disc in my bag and I'm so happy to finally get to shout it out. It's the Prodigy F2. And you might be thinking, Prodigy, I've known Prodigy, Prodigy's not underrated. The F2 is a wildly underrated disc in its category as far as an overstable fairway driver, which the numbers on the F2 now are like 8, 4, negative 1, 2. 
When Prodigy finally started doing numbers, I don't know. It's a seven speed, it's a zero two stability. It flies a lot like your T-Birds, your Instincts, all those overstable discs that you know and love, but the Prodigy F2 has something different about it, and I absolutely love it. The hand feel is great. Prodigy is well known for some of its other fairway drivers. The F5 is very popular, the FX2 is very popular, but none of them to me match the F2 and its perfect stability. It flies so good for me on forehand, pretty much like a T-Bird, but with longer carry. It's gonna hold straight for a little bit longer than any T-Bird or any Instinct would for me. And guys, I know it's been around for so long, but it's, it is underrated as heck. It is a beautiful disc. Prodigy is making these discs in a ton of cool plastics now. They've got their new splatter plastic that they're making all those discs in. The F2, if you're gonna try a Prodigy disc, let me encourage you. Go get an F2. It might change your life. It'll definitely change your bag. All right, so that's the top five underrated discs for amateurs. If you're enjoying the content, guys, I would ask that you like the channel and subscribe to the video and let us know in the comments what you think the most underrated discs are. What's What are you bagging that nobody knows about that you think everybody should be bagging? And we'll see you in the next one. Stay swanky.